How are you guys doing? Actually, what are you doing? I'm curious to know what are you doing while you're watching the video? Let me know in the comments down below. We love Sony Ball unconditionally after they release some of the greatest plugins out there, uh, Smart Limit, Smart EQ, and so on. They released two new plugins, True Balance and True Peak, forming the Sony Ball metering bundle. And if you don't have a great monitoring system or a great room, these two things can help you crank better mixes out. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpass TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy. Four are available and we are around Black Friday, so discounts are coming. Free plugin, special discounts and offers, and of course, link to Sonable Metering Bundle with True Peak and True Balance. And if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixpass TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish mastering courses on many different genres and a lot more. And now also the live mixing class is a new very popular format the tickets for the second one are going to be available soon those are one-offs and if the videos are helping you please consider using the new feature the super thanks down here and support the channel let's get to the video on both we have the clear and simple signature black and green sonable gui which of course is resizable the first plugin, True Balance, is one of a kind spectrum analyzers. It allows you to compare the spectral balance of your mix, either against one of the preloaded genres here or to one of your reference tracks or a custom track. Here at the top, it displays lows, mids, and highs, and you also have a balance check. When you press it, it gives you information, okay? Right now, I played a random track with a random reference, but we'll do a better example in a second. If I click balance check, you see it gives you information. Level of the lows looks good. Level of the mids looks good. Level of the highs looks good. Of course, it's one of my mixes. What can you do? <laughs> but jokes aside, we are gonna try to get something wrong so we can see when something is off, what the balance check tells us. Here at the bottom, we have width and correlation for, again, lows, mids, and highs. Width at the top, correlation at the bottom. So you can check your face, you can check your stereo image per individual band. And of course, here at the bottom on the right, we have an overall width and correlation. We also have a mono check. When we press it, it gives us different information. Width of the lows looks good. The overall correlation looks good. Again, what can I do? We are gonna try to mess something up here and get some information. And at the top right, if we change target from one of the preloaded curves, to our custom reference track. We can load any track that we want from our computer reference track and compare our mix to that one. I think this is a really cool plugin. It's quite different from any other analyzer out there and it gives you very, very critical information about your mix. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna load one of the pre-loaded curves here and this is a rock track. So I'm gonna load rock and we are gonna play the mix. Okay, so I managed to get two yellow lights. So here in the bridge, that's why I was playing this part because the arrangement goes down and there's nothing other than the bass, the drum, and not even the vocals there. We got the levels to go down and you can see this is what happens. Of course, this is a bridge, so it's different from the rest of the song. Don't go and analyze parts like this, but you should compare on the chorus, on the verses with you know your reference track. But anyway, when it's yellow here, it tells us you could reduce the level of the lows by minus 6.5 dB and you could increase the level of the highs by 0.2 dB. Of course, the plugin is looking for an overall balance when all the instruments are playing, right? In this case, we only have bass and drums. And of course, he sees that the low end is too much compared to the mid range and the top end. And if we do a mono check instead, we see that the width of the low looks good and the overall correlation looks good because the stereo image of this mix is good. Let me try to mess it up somehow. I'm gonna put an EQ before my true balance here and I'm gonna try to cut the low end like too much like this. 
Okay, you can see now this gray line here is the ideal rock and the green is my mix. And starting around, I want to say 350, it starts to go below this line because I'm cutting all the low end here, okay? You could increase the level of the lows by 4.6 dB. You could reduce the level of the mids by half a dB. Of course, again, he, he recognizes the imbalance. I think it's really, really cool. Let me try to narrow the mix. So I'm making my mix mono now. All right, in this case, we see there's no width in any of the bands, everything is a zero, and the correlation for low, mids, and highs, it's all on plus one because there's no phase movement. If we move the stereo width, The overall correlation seems too low. This might lead to mono compatibility issues. Of course, I'm uh, over expanding the stereo image in this moment. So you see it's very immediate. There's not much to it, but it gives you really quickly important information about your mix, your stereo balance, your correlation, and your curve against your reference track. And then we also have an A button here, which enables the auto mode for an automatic adaptation of the reference zone in the current signal level. So if you have your reference track that is mastered and you forget to turn down the volume, it will automatically adjust the level to compare because otherwise, if your reference track is louder compared to your mix, then it will tell you, you need to boost high, mids, and lows but it's, of course, it's just the volume. So it will basically level match your reference and your mixes automatically. If you click this, you see it will tell you, hey, you need to boost everything, okay? So it's a good idea unless you, you wanna do it manually to keep this button A active. So it's in the range and the same level that your mix is. Let's take a look at the other one. The other one is true level. This instead focuses on, of course, levels and dynamics and the correlation of the two. It's a precise dynamic loudness and true peak metering. We can see at the top we have LUFS loudness, dynamics expresses in dB, loudness range and true peak. Of course, we have a level check. In this case, we were analyzing the metal mix that you can see here with the universal profile loaded and it tells us that the loudness seems too low because I lowered the level of this was a master. Dynamics seems too low because it's a little bit smashed. I didn't master this and peak level looks good because of course I lowered the level so we are nowhere near the zero. And also here at the top we had the loudness reference very similar to what we find in Smart Limit, okay? So we have Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Deezer, iTunes, so we have also the standard the AS, ABU streaming, we have HBO, Netflix if you do music for movies and TV series, YouTube, all the standards, both the suggested levels like YouTube or Spotify, those are just suggested levels, which you know what I think about, <laughs> but also the actual broadcasting standards and those you have to respect because if you do something for movies and TV and you don't hit the target, they're gonna send the product back and probably hire someone else right there on the spot. So this is really useful, not only for musicians and home studios, but for professionals that need to be sure that they meet certain targets. If we make the GUI a little bigger, we see that we have the loudness meter. I'm gonna load the metal reference and I'm gonna bring up the volume of this to what was on the master minus, let's say 2 dB. So we can see that here on the left, we have the loudness in LUFS right now, okay? And we are hitting about minus 15. We have 5.9 dB of dynamics, which it sees is still low. And then we have 9.3 loudness range and minus 2.3 true peak. If I do a level check, we see again, loudness seems too low. So let's boost it all the way up. Now we can see reduce the peak level by 0.5 dB because the true peak is over whether or not you care about the true peak. And now we can see that the long-term LUFS went up to 13.4 and it's green. Loudness looks good, dynamics looks good. So 
uh, when you analyze your track with this plugin, don't focus on a tiny little piece. You need to analyze a longer portion to understand if the track is right there. And we set loudness on the left and here at the bottom we have the dynamic meter, which is the combined short term and momentary dynamic meter here. Let's try an acoustic track. So we load the acoustic dynamic reference item and instead of Spotify, let's do YouTube and let's play it. All right, in this case, it tells us that the loudness looks good, the peak level looks good, and the dynamic seems too high. Of course, this is an acoustic song, and you see, especially in this part here, dynamics goes almost to silence. You'll be waiting in vain. Right, so this is why it detects dynamic seems too high. Again, these are indications we wanted this song to be extremely dynamic. That was, you know, the beauty of it. So while the true peak is a precise straight data that you either want to respect or not, and uh, uh, LUFS is a precise measurement, the dynamics is also your taste and uh, the individuality of a given song. Don't take it necessarily as a set in stone rule. I think these two plugins are really, really cool. It's a great combination. They integrate the Sonable line with the Smart Comp, Smart EQ, and Smart Limit extremely well. And uh, I think this is it for this video. These plugins are out today. The links are gonna be in the info box. There are probably gonna be some special discounts at this time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment down below. And if you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. So gone, my tight, don't you know I fall for the best.